Hey class, so today's workout is with the roller. So, hope you have one. Okay, so we're gonna start like usual with a half roll back just to get you into your abdominals. Just bring the roller a bit behind you. Hold on underneath your thighs, roll down. And come up. Again, tuck your pelvis under, roll back. Just barely tap it and come up. One more time like this, roll back. Just to get you feeling your abdominals. And up. Okay, now bring the roller a bit closer in. So it comes just about to the base of your shoulder blades. Your hips are on the back. Hands behind your head. Now do a back bend over the roller, goes right into your shoulder blades, uh, open your chest, and then crunch up. Again, up and over the roller, awesome chest opener, and you come up. One more time. Up. Next, you're going to come on the other side of the roller. So come up, sit on it. Your hands go behind you. Cross your right ankle over the knee. Then you lean over to that right hip and just go back and forth. You can get into areas that you feel tighter and kind of linger there. Just do this five or six times. And then let's switch to the other leg. Lean over to that left hip and glute and go back and forth. Okay, from here, on the other side of the roller, so your back is on the mat and your hips are elevated. You hold on to the sides. Bend your knees, have your heels together, toes apart, and extend them out about 45 degrees. So we do this um, on the reformer, it's like footwork. But now the hips are lifted. So you go out and in. Pull in as you go out and in. I do eight in each position. Every time you push out, pull your abdominals in. Now bring your knees together, point your foot, kind of like a bird on a perch, and press out there. And two. Pull in as you push out, squeeze the legs together, and five. Seven, eight. Next, flex the feet. Heels together, toes slightly apart. Because I want the heels really squeezing together. And three. Push up four. Five. Keep deepening your abdominals. Seven. On eight, hold your legs out there. And then we point. Down, flex, point, down, flex, three, keep pulling in, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight, and bend the knees in, just rock side to side, just make a little circle, one direction, center, the other direction. Just circle one direction, center, and the other way, and center. Now, extend your legs straight up, and then lower them down about 45 degrees, and lift back up. Lower, and lift. Lower, Lift one more like this, lower, 
and lift. Bend your knees and then start to lower your toes down to the mat. This one's harder. Again, you don't have to go all the way down. Just go as far as you can control. Now, extend your legs back up and make a big circle with straight legs all the way around and center. And you go the other way, circle around, center again. Let's do one more set. Circle and center. Circle, center. Bend your knees. Lift your hips up. Roll the roller down towards your feet. Okay, so have your legs about hip distance apart. Feet on the roller and then lift your hips up. So you have to work really hard to keep the roller in place. Hold it. And roll back down. Let's do that again. Press into the roller with your feet as you lift up. And melt back down. One more time. Roll yourself up, hold. And down. Okay, next version. Bring your knees together, but keep your feet apart. And let's try it like this. Lift up, hold, 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 and melt down. Again. Feel your pelvis up, hold, 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 and melt down. One more time, lift up, and roll down. Now, we'll have the feet together and your knees apart and lift up like that. So we're just working different parts of the legs and the hips and the glutes. This is more of the gluteus maximus with your knees apart like this. And roll down. Now still try to have the inside of your foot touching the roller. That's hard. And roll down. Let's do one more. Lift up. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Melt down. Woo. And the knees in. Okay, now come up. We're gonna turn around and do a little plank. Sorry, my hair came out. Okay, so we come onto the in a plank position. Ankles are on the roller. So you're in a full plank. Now roll back a little bit and up. It's a really small movement. It's like the long stretch on the reformer. Go back and forward, back, forward one more time, just a couple inches of a movement. Now lower your knees, rest. Next one's kind of like knee stretches. So you bring the roller up on your shins and then you go to the ankles and extend out. To the ankles and extend out. Eight times, three, Pull in four, five, you can use your stomach a lot, six, seven, and eight. Come back down to your knees gently. Take the roller away. Turn around and then bring it on your quads. So you're up on your forearms. Now roll it just to your pubic bone and then down to the kneecaps, just before the kneecaps. Out, of course, you have to pull your abdominals in a lot here. Now the next one, bend your knees, heels together, and we'll do it again. It just goes a little bit deeper into the quads like this.
turn onto one side, the dreaded IT band. So let's do this three or four times to get some circulation and blood flow in there. One more time. And then turn around the other way. Sit on the mat, cross one leg over, like you're gonna do a twist in yoga, that's the position. Now you bring the roller right under your ribs. Bring your hand behind your head, and then roll in on yourself to the mat, and then you bring your chest up towards the ceiling. Again, roll in, and up. One more time on this side. And up. Push yourself up. Cross the other leg. Bring the roller on the other side. Bring it just below the ribs. And then roll in on yourself. And up. One more time. Push yourself up. Now we're going to come up on to a kneeling position. Let me move back a little bit more so you can see me. Okay, so you're kneeling, reach your arms out in front of you, and then you hinge back and back up back and up back and up reach your arms up over your head and reach to the side and come up and reach side use your stomach one more time and lift side and lift. Bring the roller back down. We're gonna lie on it. This way. Make your way so your head is supported. Tailbone is on there. And then lift your arms up. And around, nice circles. Go up. And around. Reverse. Now give yourself a hug. Just take note of which arm is in front. to roll off all the way. Just give yourself your back a little massage. Open your arms to the side and keep doing that. And then you bring your other arm on top. Give yourself a hug. Arms out to the side. Just feel that nice openness in your chest. Roll over onto one side. We're gonna do one more great stretch. So come up onto the roller. Last time. Pull your right knee into your chest and let the left leg extend out. Really nice hip flexor opener. Just relax here. Now, hold 
on to the end, we're going to do a little gentle twist. Breathe into your ribs. And come back to center. Bend both knees in. And then extend the right leg out. Hold on to this left butt. Left dash in. It's a big, intense stretch in this hip flexor. Just breathe into it. center. Bend both knees in. Do another little circle. Bring your feet down. Lift your pelvis up. Slide the roller out. Turn onto one side into the fetal position. Use your hand to push yourself up. We're just going to finish sitting up tall. Whatever position you came into naturally, I want you to switch it. So it's a little more of the awkward way that we're not used to sitting in. Let's finish here with the shoulders on your back. Feel your body nice and open. Great work, you guys. Thank you.